This is Dr. Matt Wallace bringing you another new moment from Me55 and MSM products. Today I'd like to talk about MCL injuries or medial collateral ligament injuries. So if you look here at a knee, this is a skeletalized knee, you can see the medial collateral ligament is on the inside of your knee. It runs from the medial upper condyle down here past your knee to the tibia. Its job is to keep your knee stable so when you have a force like this that's driving that way, driving it out, it stays stable, and it stays stable as you bend your knee back. An MCL injury occurs when that has been overstretched. So when you, every, like a football player gets hit on this side, if it's stretched too far, then it can cause an injury. A lot of different mechanisms can cause injury. Sometimes you're not hit at all. You just stand up, twist awkwardly, fall awkwardly, and you can get an injury here. These injuries are usually graded on three different levels. So the first grade is where they're stable like this in extension, but when you bend them to about 30 degrees, they open up just a tiny bit, and it also causes soreness to wherever the MCL is injured. The MCL is usually injured in one of two places, either proximally or distally. Rarely it can occur mid-substance, but it's usually proximally or distally. So a grade one MCL injury hurts when you stress it like this, and it will cause soreness at wherever the MCL is injured. A grade 2 injury to your MCL is where you're stable in extension. So in extension, I can't open it. But when you go to 30 degrees of flexion, it opens up a bit farther than a grade 1. So normally, it's about five, 0 to 5 millimeters for a grade 1 of opening. So opening here, 0 to 5 millimeters. For a grade 2, it would be more than that. It would be at least 5 millimeters, even a centimeter of opening. So it would definitely feel different than the other leg. And again, that also would cause soreness at wherever the MCL was injured, proximal, distal, or again, more rarely, mid-portion. A grade 3 MCL is where you're unstable on 30 degrees of flexion, but you're also unstable in extension. So when you stress them in extension, they also gap open. And again, that causes pain at wherever the MCL is injured. The proximal injuries usually seem to get more swelling than the distal injuries. So right away, your knee will be a little bit more swollen with a proximal MCL, typically. And they get a little bit stiffer with the blood in the knee from the injury. Uh, usually causes swelling. That makes it a bit stiffer. But they also tend to heal a bit quicker. Distal MCL injuries tend to heal a little bit slower, but they don't have the swelling and stiffness associated. Both of them cause soreness and both of them hurt. Again, you can usually tell where the injury is by feeling uh, the tendon and feel, or feeling the ligament and feeling where it hurts when the stress is applied. The treatment for an MCL injury in isolation is usually just letting it uh, heal. The ligament is stable in walking, so when you walk on it, there's usually a compressive force to that side of your knee, so there's no tension on the ligament. So walking is good, weight-bearing is good and getting your motion back, getting it to bend, extend, getting your quads to start acting, and firing are, is the treatment for it. So as the MCLs heal, it'll start feeling better and better, and in the meantime, working on motion and working on quad control is the best thing to do to treat an MCL injury. Almost all of these heal without surgery, and anywhere from two to four weeks for a proximal one is a rough grade. Um, a rough gauge, depending on the grade, higher grade may take a little bit longer. And the distal one usually takes a bit longer, like I said, four to six weeks. So a higher grade distal one will probably take the most time to heal. So that's a MCL injuries in a nutshell. Thanks for listening.